today I'm starting my cut going into the summer. I'm gonna show you what I eat. Full day of eating, get shredded, starts now. I've been doing shakes for meal one, so I'll show you each ingredient I have. Unsweetened almond milk. This is going to be the liquid for the shake, obviously, and this is only like 40 calories. So about 340 milliliters. So that's like 50, 60 calories worth of almond milk. Let's throw a little bit more, just wanna make sure. Now we're gonna also put in some oats, quick oats. Make sure to use quick oats in your shakes because they blend up way better. The quick oats are the way to go if you're making shakes. 40 grams of quick oats. It's not a whole lot of carbs, but to be honest, I don't need a lot of carbs. Just from my experience, I'm pretty carb sensitive. Now we need some healthy fats. Healthy fats are important for staying strong in the gym and also keeping you a little bit satiated so you're not just starving all day. A Little bit of healthy fats from almond butter. I get this natural almond butter, freshly ground, Cape May, New Jersey, so good. 30 grams. Protein powder, just some whey protein. You know, any type of protein powder works, but the whey isolates are the best. So I'm putting two scoops of this, which is about 48 grams of protein. Beetroot juice. I'm gonna throw in 30 milliliters of beetroot juice. This is really good source of antioxidants. It lowers your blood pressure, a lot of other health benefits from a beet reduced. Check it out, I'm gonna throw in 30 milliliters. Last but not least, we're gonna throw in a mixed blend of fruits. We have bananas and some mixed berries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries. Whoa, fill this thing to the top. Gotta make sure this doesn't overflow. Be careful. This is what we needed. Clearly this isn't optional. So use this rubber thing. Here's my shake for meal one. So good, I love starting my day with shakes. It makes things really convenient too. Just blend it and then I'm out the door. See, this is why shakes are legit. I can just run out my house, go get on the go and eat my breakfast while I'm driving. Back for meal two. This is my pre-workout meal. So I have some rice cooking on the stove. I just like to boil it in a pot. I should have gotten a rice cooker a long time ago, but for some reason, I have every other appliance except that. For protein, I ordered these packs of chicken, these eight ounce frozen packs of chicken from the chicken pound. So this is cilantro lime. These are surprisingly really good. I wasn't sure how they were gonna be, I don't usually buy from meal prep companies because I'm skeptical of who cooks it and how good the quality is, but this is actually top quality. The chicken has all the flavors absorbed in it, so when I'm biting into the chicken, I get a really good lime cilantro taste out of it. The rice is done cooking, so now we're going to measure out 200 grams of white rice. Now I make sure Add a little bit of olive oil, just a tea, half a teaspoon. Slow things down a bit. 
so I don't have such a crazy insulin spike. We're gonna do some sea salt. I need plenty of salt in this meal because my breakfast, as you saw, was not very high in sodium. We got Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Wing Sauce. Zero calories, but 420 megs of sodium. Lots of sodium in here, so I don't have to worry about being low on sodium after that breakfast shake. All right, I just got home from my chest workout. For this meal in particular, I like to venture off and do different types of carbs that I don't usually do otherwise during the day. My nutrient uptake is so high after training, it's okay to have a little bit of you know, sugary carbs in the mix. All right. I'm gonna eat one pack of Pop-Tarts. By pack, I mean like this pack not the entire package. That's about like 70-ish carbs. And then we have two scoops of protein powder. Gotta have some fast protein post-workout, so I love the protein powder. Oh, this is the raspberry flavor. I recommend it. You have to go with this flavor or else. It won't work. So I'm obviously walking my dog right now. This is a form of cardio I do. I just like to walk around my neighborhood, listen to epic music, take my dog for some exercise. And this is part of my plan because I try to get 10,000 steps per day in. It's mandatory, so I always get them in. And this is how I do it. I'll probably go on like 20, 25 minute walk right now. Then just me naturally walk around my house all day, just naturally. I'll get to 10,000 steps by the time I get to my last meal. I like to do this in between meals, get my blood sugar down, stay in that low blood sugar environment to burn fat, and that's the game plan. Back for meal four, which is pretty much the same thing as my pre-workout meal, minus four ounces of chicken. So I'm gonna do four ounces of chicken with this meal. I got this teriyaki flavored chicken pound, so I'm gonna try it out. Probably gonna have to microwave it a little bit to thaw it out more. And 200 grams of white rice with half a teaspoon of olive oil. Next meal, I'm gonna pump up the protein a little more, you're gonna see. But let's go, uh, let's put this meal down and show you what it looks like. This is eight ounces of chicken. I'm gonna separate it in half. I'm gonna cut it up into smaller chunks. I'm actually pumped for this because I haven't had chicken teriyaki in a really long time. So it's a flavor I'm welcoming back in. That's so good. This looks awesome guys. I have two whole eggs, 200 grams of white rice, four ounces of chicken. So this is meal five and I'm looking forward to this. It's gonna taste good. See you guys for meal six. The 
last meal of the night. Couple these bad boys. Dude, the key lime pie flavor is so good. It literally tastes just like key lime pie, except there's 24 grams of protein in this. Got the whey protein. I like the protein powder at night. It's light in my stomach. And honestly, I don't feel like eating meat at this hour. I just don't. So this tastes good. And it's easy, I like it. So scoop of the protein powder, two cups of Greek yogurt, and I'm about to get two rice cakes with peanut butter. There's my last meal.